distant learning blues. I've got the distant learning blues. I don't know what to do because I'm gonna miss you. I've got the distant learning blues. Well, Gumby and I sending you an air hug over the computer screen. I just wanted to uh, jump on and give you a little tour to let you know how you can access music during this time that we are going to be home. I know it's a, it's a hardship for everyone, but we really um, are keeping our students and our staff safety is our number one priority. So I really appreciate um, all of your understanding and your patience. So let me show you how you can access these fun and engaging musical activities, whether you are um, in preschool all the way to middle school. Even though I haven't been going down to the middle school, you can, if you have a middle schooler, there are musical activities on my Google site that your student can access as well. So taking a tour of, this is my Google site, which you will all have the link to. And there are just a few things that I'd like to make sure that you know where to find them. So the first thing is we are going to actually have music classes, live music classes via Google Meet. So a transitional kindergarten and kindergarten, you guys are going to have your music class on Tuesdays at one o'clock. First and second grade will be Wednesdays at one o'clock and third and fourth grade will be Thursdays at one o'clock. And so how your student accesses that is they'll come to where it's me on the computer <laughs> and they'll just click on that link. You can either click on my picture or you can click on the words and it will take you to the video link that will be there. Um, the other thing that's really important that I wanted to share with you is the virtual classrooms. So this has been my format as I've been teaching live in person, pushing my big blue toolbox cart into their classrooms. But you go onto the virtual classrooms if you click on the picture and then click on your grade level. And for an example, here's the middle school. So if you have a middle schooler, they can click there. But for an example, I'm just gonna show you um, the first and second grade example. So what you're gonna do is the very first um, activity that pops up is just a music fun room. These activities change weekly or bi-weekly. And what happens is, is if you click on an icon, it takes you to a song, for example, Herman the Worm. And then, but here's what the, what's really important is scroll down from that. So if you scroll down, those have been the classroom lessons, the lessons that I've been doing live with them while they were in their classroom. So they're very familiar with the format. Um, and if we go down here to November, this was the lesson that we were doing this week the first week in November. So that they, they know that this first slide is for them to get calm, to get quiet. When the students are all focused, we say open the door and they click on the door. So they'll be able to manipulate this on their own, um, on their own computer screen. They'll click on the door. There's a movement activity. Of course, we're gonna do the turkey hokey pokey. The arrow slide um, advances to the next lesson. We were going to guess what was in the box. There's their clue. Guess what's in the box. And of course, they were five beautiful fall leaves. And we did a song about the leaves falling down, learning about a descending scale. And then we wanted to go outside. We were going to go outside and collect our leaves and do it again outside under the trees because they're so beautiful right now. Then we're going to sing along and do some hand motions with a beautiful song about autumn. And then there's sort of the review of the lesson. But really important, we hardly ever get to this in class because we always run out of time. But if you click on the clock on any of the lessons, regardless of the grade level, if you click on the clock, there are some extra additional activities. Some are read-alongs, some are science-based, but other curriculum studies that come in and just other fun songs. So uh, if you go back home, 
there's some uh, a chance for some other enrichments. Of course, we know that all the third graders have their recorders, so I hope they keep up with that. And if you're in fourth grade or even in middle school, you probably have your recorder from third grade. So if you click on the extra enrichments, there are some lessons you can click on recorder lessons if you've got your recorder at home. Ukulele, I've just created a brand new course that will take you from not even knowing how to tune or hold your ukulele all the way to being able to strum along to um, popular songs that have three, four, or five chords to them. And I've done some other beginning um, tutorial videos as well as that. Um, there are also drum lessons, guitar lessons, as well as the recorder. And then there is also a listening library where we've got some of our favorite um, sing-alongs, storybooks, um, songs from musicals. There's a Zen Den that has some yoga activities and um, relaxing music to study to. And there's also just a little bit about me. I'll be working on some more um, uh, things, more different virtual rooms. I'm working on a singing room right now that'll have some, uh, some really great sing-along karaoke style songs for your students to sing that love singing. And now that they're home, they can do that. That has been a big challenging thing is to try not to sing in music class. So I hope that that helps. And I look forward to seeing your students when we do our Google Meets. And uh, I'm gonna miss you guys, but we'll be back together very soon. So um, feel free to email me if you have any questions. And I just look forward to seeing you soon. All right, you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.